Greetings and salutations all. I am your host, Invisible, from Invisible's Gaming Channel, Sucking at Your Hearts, from the dark side of the moon. And this is my answer for the definition of success. Let me highlight a little something. I request from all my active living subs to make a video of at maximum 20 minutes explaining the definition of a successful life in their own view. What do you think is a successful life like? What? Do you believe success is? Upload your videos and write in the comments that you did. And I'll visit your channels and take a look and then reply to your answers with my own answers. By the way. The deadline will be one week from now. August 6th if by then nobody answered or wrote anything or if the engagement was very small and inconsequential, I will make sure to think about such questions before asking them next times five times more. Thank you very much, uh, David. So out of my 2,333 subscribers, or you can also say it, 2,333 subscribers, out of 2,333 subscribers, only four answered me. Marcos said... Just letting you know I've read this bro, but I probably won't be making such a video since I am not good in answering let alone knowing those things it's a tough question and I haven't fully felt success myself maybe with time if I'll ever get to know the feeling of success I'll let you know but I hardly ever had that feeling and for the most part I always mostly felt like a failure all my life because of breaking promises I made to myself years ago and never really followed my ambitions I have far too many dreams but I've never really accomplished them so far therefore I am unable to answer that and Lex Bear said I could possibly do this even though I am not uploading anything right now so yeah Marcos and Lex Bear both don't have an answer for this question. As for uh, Rogue Agent Killer Dan and uh, for ZPTV123, both of them answered the question in their own respectful videos that they uploaded to their own channels. One of them is Killer Rodan's, uh, Rogue Agent Killer Rodan's own reply, where he sent me the summary of it is, success especially in this website, even though I meant in life, for him in this uh, website is related to numbers. The more subscribers you have, the more viewers you have, the more comments and engagement you have, the more successful you can you can consider yourself to be. And eventually, whether it will happen or not, the donations should uh, be reaching them. Also, this website is mostly taken as a hobby and not a full-time career. That's why he doesn't, he's not really that much afraid uh, face for it, but still would uh, rather have more numbers than anything else. As for ZPTV123 and his own uh, answer, while streaming the story on humans too, he answered me after I reminded him of the question. That for him, success in life or successful life is one that you can live and be happy living it regardless what you do regardless what you get and regardless how you live as long as you are satisfied with yourself and happy that's all what matters as in self-satisfactory and making sure that you don't regret what you're doing but oh yeah this is my third take for this video because every time I try to talk about this logically, I end up dozing up for, for some reason. So for this, this time, 
I brought with myself a mug of coffee to force me to stay awake. First, before anything else, before I tell you what is my definition of success, let me go check Wikipedia and its own definition of what success means. Let's go with that, that go. Wikipedia. Definition. Definition of success. What does it mean? What is success? I will also enable and clearly read again. This time I will make Mark read for you instead of David. Success is the state or condition of meeting a defined range of expectations. It may be viewed as the opposite of failure. The criteria for success depend on context and may be relative to a particular observer or belief system. One person might consider a success what another person considers a failure, particularly in cases of direct competition or a zero-sum game. Similarly, the degree of success or failure in a situation may be differently viewed by distinct observers or participants, such that a situation that one considers to be a success, another might consider to be a failure, a qualified success or a neutral situation. For example, a film that is a commercial failure or even a box office bomb can go on to receive a cult following, with the initial lack of commercial success even lending a cachet of subcultural coolness one too. It may also be difficult or impossible to ascertain whether a situation meets criteria for success or failure due to ambiguous or ill-defined definition of those criteria. Finding useful and effective criteria, or heuristics, to judge the failure or success of a situation may itself be a significant task. In the American culture, what is success exactly? In American culture edit, Davidus and Rich link the success to the notion of the American dream. They observe that the ideal of success is found in the American dream which is probably the most potent ideology in American life, three and suggest that Americans generally believe in achievement, success, and materialism. For Weiss, in his study of success in the American psyche, compares the American view of success with Max Weber's concept of the Protestant work ethic five. Okay, let me uh, ask Zira to read for us the next one. In biology, in biology edit, natural selection is the variation in successful survival and reproduction of individuals due to differences in phenotype. It is a key mechanism of evolution, the change in the heritable traits characteristic of a population over generations. Charles Darwin popularized the term natural selection, contrasting it with artificial selection, which in his view is intentional. Whereas natural selection is not. As Darwin phrased it in 1859, natural selection is the principle by which each slight variation of a trait, if useful, is preserved. Six, the concept was simple but powerful. Individuals best adapted to their environments are more likely to survive and reproduce. As long as there is some variation between them and that variation is heritable, there will be an inevitable selection of individuals with the most advantageous variations. If the variations are heritable, then differential reproductive success leads to a progressive evolution of particular populations of a species, and populations that evolve to be sufficiently different eventually become different species. Okay, before you continue on, I don't believe in evolution at all. Neither do I believe in Darwinism. Regardless, Let's listen to the definition of success in education by Richard. Canadian accent. In education edit. A student's success within an educational system is often expressed by way of grading. Grades may be given as numbers, letters, or other symbols. By the year 1884, Mount Holyoke 
college was evaluating students' performance on a 100 point or percentage scale and then summarizing those numerical grades by assigning letter grades to numerical ranges. Mount Holyoke assigned letter grades A through E, with E indicating lower than 75% performance. The A, E system spread to Harvard University by 1890. In 1898, Mount Holyoke adjusted the grading system, adding an F grade for failing, and adjusting the ranges corresponding to the other letters. The practice of letter grades spread more broadly in the first decades of the 20th century. By the 1930s, the letter E was dropped from the system, for unclear reasons 9. Educational systems themselves can be evaluated on how successfully they impart knowledge and skills. For example, the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, is a worldwide study by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, intended to evaluate educational systems by measuring 15-year-old school pupils. Scholastic performance on mathematics, science, and reading tenet was first performed in 2000 and then repeated every three years. Carol Dweck, a Stanford psychologist, primarily researches motivation, personality, and development as related to implicit theories of intelligence, her key contribution to education the 2006 book Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. Dweck's work presents mindset as on a continuum between fixed mindset, intelligence is static, and growth mindset, intelligence can be developed. Growth mindset is a learning focus that embraces challenge and supports persistence in the face of setbacks. As a result of growth mindset, individuals have a greater sense of free will and are more likely to continue working toward their idea of success. Despite setbacks. Okay, next up, I'm going to ask Linda to uh, read for us the success supposedly in business and leadership. In business and leadership edit. Malcolm Gladwell's 2008 book Outliers, The Story of Success suggests that the notion of the self-made man is a myth. Gladwell argues that the success of entrepreneurs, such as Bill Gates is due to their circumstances, as opposed to their inborn talent 1112. Andrew Leakey Ehrman, former dean of London Business School 13 argues that success is a relative rather than an absolute term. Success needs to be measured against stated objectives and against the achievements of relevant peers, he suggests Jeff Bezos, Amazon, and Jack Ma, Alibaba, have been successful in business because at the time they started there were many companies aspiring to the dominance these two have achieved. Dot 14 Leakey Ehrman puts forward four propositions regarding company success and its measurement. There is no single definition of a successful company and no single measure of company success. Profit and share value cannot be taken directly as measures of company success and require careful interpretation. Judgment is required when interpreting past and present performance. Company success reflects an interpretation of key factors. It is not a fact. Okay. I'm going to skip the philosophy and science. I'll jump back to Zira and let her read for us the probability. In probability edit, the fields of probability and statistics often study situations where events are labeled as successes or failures. For example, a Bernoulli trial is a random experiment with Exactly two possible outcomes, success and failure, in which the probability of success is the same every time the experiment is conducted. 18. The concept is named after Jacob Bernoulli, a 17th century Swiss mathematician, who analyzed them in his Ars Conjectandi, 1713. 1713.19. The term success in this sense consists in the result meeting specified conditions, not in any moral judgment. For example, the experiment could be the act of rolling a single die, with the result of rolling a six being declared a success and all other outcomes grouped together under the designation failure. Assuming a fair die, the probability of success would then be backslash display style one-sixth. 
Thank you very much, AI Claire Reed, for this reading. Success is not something that you can just answer what it means just like by default, what it means and how or what kind of definition it has. The answer is very simple because for everyone, their success is their own view. For this example, in the past, merely surviving within the environment was successful in its own. Having your own offspring and family, shelter and uh, land, safety and food, all were success skills as well. Then after we began uh, developing and uh, having more technology before, uh, before our uh, own uh, hands and faces, success became about more of a brag right than anything else. For example, Previously, when survival for the fittest, when you had a big family, you had your own food, your own uh, wealth, your own uh, backing, family, ancestors, weapons, property, animals, vehicles, um, job, etc. And you were self-fulfilling and uh, self-efficient, that was a successful life in their own eyes because you didn't have to rely on anyone's help or anyone's interruption other than your own clan. Previously, becoming the clan's own leader or the family head was a success in its own an achievement. Then as uh, years came and went by, the definition of success changed little by little with it. The easiest example would be before and after the world wars, where success used to be having a job that you can get your living from, having your own family, your own offspring, you, can, you make sure that uh, your family's future is secured, having a life insurance, having a health insurance, having multiple kinds of insurances alongside with wealth in order to keep your uh, family's uh, stomachs filled and their own morale high. Having higher education and getting your uh, kids and offspring also uh, married so that they can get you grandkids of your, of your own and then do the same endlessly to have a very big and uh, wide spreading family tree all used to be great successes since with that your name will be down through the history thanks for your own offspring and great grandchildren and whatnot previously in the boomers time the goal was to big uh, to be create the biggest possible family tree there is to create and to have as many lands as possible bought to your own property having your own vehicles your own uh, personal uh, efficient and uh, personal personality sufficient carriers um, resources for food water privacy security freedom of uh, self-expression to be free on your own land and to be free away from wars invasions and uh, predators Having the power to hunt, go out hunting, having the ability to upgrade your own tools and gadgets, con communication with the world, communication with uh, relatives and whatnot, all of that used to be seen as exceptionally successful. But now, as the world began to change, 
the previously when uh, one had to go to the well or to the water spring gather the water and then uh, refine it to be to become usable now you have the faucets you have uh, the water big uh, bottles and you have the coolers you have the kitchen sink this is all supposed to be a success in, te in technology. You gained the VHS tapes, you have the radios, you have the cassette tapes, you have the, then the computers, the consoles, you have then the technology of vehicles, cars, planes, jets, uh, rockets, uh, submarines, boats, uh, speed uh, jets, speed skiing, etc. All of this is completely seen as success in technology in development and in adaptation but that's not what i'm after from my personal uh, view the more we advance the less success we can find it's true that no the chances of anyone of us becoming the next uh, inventor of something or discoverer or something um, the new uh, person to create a new weapon of uh, complete mass purging and destruction, that's still possible. But for someone to create something like the internet, the electrical, uh, the light bulb, the electric discover the electricity, re-engineer and redesign the electric circuits and whatnot, something, uh, things that are essential for uh, civilized more advanced living are not that common anymore because looks like indeed the situations when the inventors and the discoverers were capable of uh, finding out this stuff it wasn't because of they were geniuses or they were more smarter than normal people it's just that their circumstances were different they were different, that's it. They were all dropped from schools. And in order to make their own living, they had to work and do something others didn't do before. The man behind Amazon made furniture manually and then began collecting money and then opened up the factory of... Uh... Wait a minute, that's for IKEA. The man behind IKEA built his own furniture, sold it, and then opened his own little workshop and uh, turned it into a factory with time. The man behind Amazon, got sick of how slow packages reached him or the neighbors. So he started to make a chain of working bicycle uh, kids, until he managed to turn that uh, gang into Amazon, the biggest so far shop and delivering service. Not everyone can be that successful nowadays, because simply put, everyone that tries to be successful, people's greed instantly shuts them down. The risk and reward are too high, the possibilities are too low, and the inflation is killing all kinds of possibilities. When in the past, you will be extremely successful if you had your own wealth, your own family, your own shelter, your own clan, and your own uh, power, and uh, you were completely safe as is on your own land, that was all fine and completely perfect nowadays with the inflation and with the way the world is working it's impossible almost to own a house anymore people consider it successful if you were to just be able to live with your own parents uh, getting married and having this office spring has been so much demoted to the point where honestly having pets instead of kids is the not now than the norm to do um, education and gradu uh, graduation are no longer that uh, much essential since many of the courses that you 
need for getting a job or job handling are already available online for a fee and frankly speaking even schools themselves their education is extremely outdated and you just enter them for the sake of getting your own certificate or your grades and marks which frankly a human should not be marked or graded like a product Nowadays, people no longer have an idea of what success means or how to describe it because of a simple reason. Nobody knows anymore what success tastes like or feels like because our lives are not successful anymore. While for the killer, uh, drug agent Kerodan, success is linked directly with numbers of. Uh, interactions with himself his channel and how many stuff he reviews um, how many views he gets subscribers and comments for him success is all about the numbers and for zptv123 success is all about one's own happiness and self-satisfactory for me myself I don't care about being a celebrity. I don't care about being too much wealthy. I just wish to have the financial uh, security, secured financially, uh, living in a land that's safe, secured culturally, secured um, faithfully, as in religiously. And if I can get my own source of income, I consider that to be among the essentials of life and to be a success in survival. However, nowadays, after I got my personal melancholic depression and my view to the on the world has changed quite a lot, honestly, my living goal as the goal of my life itself is very simple, really. I wish to write a novel or an epic most more likely of one million pages multiple stories and novels that make one giant epic that epic i want to sell it as books and novels and shorts and whatnot side stories etc and i want it to become a collection of video games films and tv series or movies you could see also a streaming series you see what i'm talking about is my aim is to make something that looks like dungeons and dragons but not a tabletop uh, rpg game but rather a lit a literature a literature um legend when i look at Books such as Crime and Punishment, Moby Dick, uh, Les, uh, Les Miserables, and many others that are legendary among the legends of the literature. I feel both pride that people who wrote these books got famous from them also including Game of Thrones, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, and um, you could also just currently uh, Scott from uh, Five Nuts at Freddy's also, and his own books. Looks like many people who can write books, make comics like the superheroes comics from Marvel or the Fables series, Japanese manga and even the Chinese manhwa literature is everywhere but thing is there are no encouragements at all for in my face what I wish for is simply put to show the world to everyone else from the perspective of someone that is a pessimist a defeatist and how I got inspiration from where by whom and to who my loyalty lies be hiding basically i want to show the world what it looks like when you have exceptional negative view around everything and everyone and what in my personal idealism 
is the ultimate goal of this world. Let's literally, literally it. If I can manage to show everyone in the world what my views are and share them, then take the feedback and mostly I, if I could find them supportive, it would be even much better. I could easily die smiling. Finally. My own look at success is for one to find and seek their own satisfactory, their own ideals and their own goals. What their brains are designed for and what their emotions and their own dreams are for and are aimed at then make these goals become true regardless if you were uh, an office worker um, a taxi driver whatever your uh, occupation is whatever your uh, desires are or ideals are as long as you get to describe and show the world what your passion is about and the world to accept that passion and respect it which is nowadays uh, nigh impossible as is then as long as you can reach self-satisfactory and gain your ultimate goal in life after which you wouldn't mind literally dying right away since you would have by then finished your mission alive that is what I am for I am for a regretless deathbed I want to show the world that it doesn't ha you don't have to be a celebrity you don't have to be a royalty you don't have to be exceptionally wealthy to find your own satisfactory just learn to accept what you have and learn that materialism is not the answer never was and never will be gaining so many stuff will only make you a hoarder and being ungrateful will make you envious and prideful being a religious person is good and all especially for the afterlife which nobody at the moment believes in its existence to begin with it. so to me to me success can be summed in a single sentence to reach your death bed without any regrets behind you to have sat satisfied yourself as much as possible before your life ends that's for me what a successful life is like and that's the definition of success itself make sure to reach self acceptance and satisfactory for death if you wish to g gain wealth gain it if you wish to build projects or make more, more to make uh, mansions or whatever it's your thing really invest in your own energy your own strength and your own life to build what is the word again monuments of your own success you don't have to leave a mark in history to show everyone that you once existed you don't have to as long as you can at the very least live and die without any regrets in your life that's in itself successful i cannot explain to you more than this since personally all the grades that i got all the certificates that i gained all the life that i went through i never felt successful once even why is that because i always did all these things for the sake of others not the sake of my own self and my own interest the thing is about millennials and the thing about the Z, Z generations, the Zoomers, is that we are indulging in individualism to the maximum. We believe that the individual is above all and that 
the group or the family is no longer that necessary. Because simply put, the inflation and the lack of jobs, the discouragement from getting your own career, and having the C CEOs, which was, is supposed to be the highest possible rank of success nowadays, giving their own positions, positions to their offspring instead of their own workers that have been killing themselves, shedding tears of blood, sweat, and even glass and stones in their kidneys, in their bones. And instead of all of that uh, excessive investment in their own biological health and wealth, the CEOs and the bosses, leader and leaders, always just make their own positions hereditary. As in, they just give them to their own uh, offspring, and their offsprings give their positions to their own offspring. Job and hierarchies, um, ladders for promotions, are not the same as royalty or royal families. You do not take the positions as hereditary. You're not the heir for a position. You should gain it with your own hands. The thing is, after the rise of the plague that happened recently, the number of freelancing has grown drastically. And the number of people who are getting into Bitcoin and other uh, networking areas is getting bigger and bigger. For people, success sadly has been automatically uh, biased towards the American dream, materialism, which is wrong, completely wrong. And nowadays also people, because of the inflation and the lack of life um, easiness or essentials or necessities, are starting to forsake the goals of the old. No longer do we want to have families. No longer do we need, do we want to have heirs of, of our offspring because what we have is barely enough for ourselves and families alone. As is, no more can we buy or even rent our own shelters and uh, houses. No more can we get our own vehicles. Everything is getting too much pricey, too much risky, and frankly, too much unwanted or not needed anymore. Since the world around us itself is discouraging us from everything. As a matter of fact, I believe that the worst possible thing was ever created was communication. Because once the internet became an open world for everyone to take a look at everyone else, vanity, envy, pride, and slothness, especially wrath, all spread madly. Everyone wishes to get the biggest gain with the lowest possible effort. Everyone is capitalizing on envy. Everyone is capitalizing on wrath. Everyone is capitalizing on lust. Everyone capitalizing on sloth. Everyone is gluttonous for money and fame to become a celebrity. Everyone is too much prideful to do anything that's actually worth anything at all. And sadly, everyone else is paying an uncalculable amount of resources for nothing and absolutely nothing. It amazes me honestly, how come that ignorance is being more successful than knowledge? The ignorant has so much resources that Looks like being an ignorant currently is the goal of all life. Being lustful makes you become very much successful somehow. And being hardworking makes you a loser and a failure, which is really weird. So currently the world has gone into a completely crazy 
uh, destination where the the knowledgeable hard working self investing and those who hold on to the traditional success skill are all forsaken and not wanted around while everyone that is lustful sloth prideful envious wrathful um everyone that is simply just refusing all kinds of virtues and all kinds of good deeds and investments greedy to the point of no return is successful for some reason and the reason is very simple really capitalism is born from greed and corruption not all of it but most of it because some people do gain their own um rightful parts legally not everything is dependent on corruption so if your goal for of life and success is seen as materialistic then i believe it will be only a temporary goal since death is inevitable in the end if you can satisfy yourself like ZBTV said, then you have no regrets at all whatsoever when you inevitably reach the deathbed. And in case you are like a Norwegian Kerodan, then the socializing, socializing and getting the numbers higher and higher would be your end goal to become well known and become respected and appreciated for myself and for uh, marcus getting to know what success is in the first place and getting to understand how to taste it and try to live it is our frankly our uh, personal goal if we can know exactly how to reach success, how to turn our hopes and dreams into a reality, and how to prove to ourselves that life is actually worth keep surviving in or at, that in itself should be considered as a success. So, let's finish this answer with saying, success is determined determined by individuals and it's really based on what you want from your life and don't think that it's easy to go uh, and get go by and get it success is not easy easily uh, obtained depending on what your goal is and sometimes success is exceptionally easy if your goals are very simple and not too much complicated in the first place if you are a materialistic person then your success is in capitalism if you are a passionate person then the world will uh, forsake you and your uh, goals together because passion is no longer a success thing but rather a slavery thing if your goal is to become a celebrity then you will you better start uh, indulging into everything that corrupts the mind and the soul since becoming a celebrity a, a man made idol to worship is not easily done and you will have to invest in your own self with the corrupted hierarchy of the one percent in the world that hold into the wealth of the entire planet itself invisible remember this is not a rant this is your answer to what's the definition of success the, the final definition of success is what you reach when you reach your deathbed do you regret what you did throughout all of your life or are you satisfied with your goals and what you did if you are not regretful then you have succeeded in life if you are regretful it means your life entirely was wasted over nothing it's just that simple really
As long as you are going to die unsatisfied and un uh, and uh, incomplete for yourself and your soul and your mind, then you are you had a failure of a life. That's my own take on it. If you if in a single moment you decided to finish yourself and you had no regrets left truthfully and you wouldn't mind really to pull the trigger and finish it all that would mean you had a success in the end however if you are afraid of regretting something it means that you see yourself and your life as a complete failure I believe that will be it for my answer because frankly I'm just repeating myself by this moment. I hope that this answer satisfied you. Well, till next time, Invisible sign out.